Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think these are? <laughs> I think you figured that out. These are green bananas, organic green bananas that came out of our yard in front here. And uh, I tell you, cooking in these green bananas is one of the best things for your body in general. And, uh, in the States, in general, it's not well known, but uh, I tell you, this is one of the things that will make your body good. And uh, they taste great, too. This is one of my favorite things. And you can get bananas, green bananas, just about anywhere. There's no doubt about that. And organic bananas are the way to go. And they're full of wonderful vitamins. You know, we have a lot of B6 in them. It helps with the metabolism and enzyme production, uh, creating the reactions in our body. And it also contains potassium, as you know, and helps with uh, lowering blood pressure, uh, preventing strokes and helping with stress, and building strong bones, and boosting up metabolism, which we get a little more energy going, and we start lowering our weight, and uh, helps to regulate water balance in our body, and it helps our brain, our heart, and kidney function, too. And it also has a lot of vitamin C in it which is a powerful antioxidant and it prevents disease and boosts up our immune system, which is vitally important. And they help with weight loss because cooked green bananas uh, are really full of fiber and they contain what's called resistant starch. This is probably the most important aspect of cooked green bananas. They contain uh, lots and lots of resistant starch and resistant starch feed the probiotic bacteria in our gut. And you know, most people should have about four or five pounds of probiotic or good bacteria in their gut. And most of us only have a half pound, which is not good. That's our immune system right there, as science has shown. And uh, once we start allowing ourselves to have some good food to put in there, which is that resistant starch, which is plentiful in cooked green banana, uh, then we start seeing our immune system go up. And... They're lower in carbs and calories, so that helps with weight loss also. They're high in water, and uh, they help us to absorb more calcium, which makes our bones stronger. And they help us to burn more fat and by boosting up our metabolism, and they're great food for athletes. There's no doubt about that. And if you have, uh, you know, you're one of these get up and go, and you're doing a lot of jogging or walking or whatever, cooked green bananas are good for you great for colon health because they have that resistant starch in it again and these things can prevent colon cancer there's no doubt about it we have a, a protocol called green banana therapy that's out there and it's about eating cooked green bananas before eating any other food about 30 minutes before eating other any other food and that uh, is a simple way to take care of our, our colon and get rid of colon disease also and they're full of fiber and, and uh, like I said it benefits those probiotics in our back in our colon and with that good bacteria and uh, the National Institute of Health show showed they had a lot of these fatty acids in there which are really good for creating colon health which is important and a large amount of pectin, which helps to move uh, our stools through our body and uh, help with getting rid of all kinds of bacteria, bad bacteria in our gut, and also at the same time help us with constipation. It's a great anti-diarrheal um, food also. You know, there were studies in Bangladesh and multiple studies done that showed that if people in different countries in the world, especially babies and you know young children that had diarrhea, which might be deadly, they started eating cooked green bananas that got rid of the diarrhea like that. So uh, I think that's vitally important, especially uh, uh, a lot of people have forgotten how good a food cooked green bananas are. And a lot of people kind of go, oh, cooked green bananas. But uh, actually, they're very tasty. They, they never get soft like a potato. They have kind of a taste of the potato. 
I recommend you either cut both ends of them off of the banana, the cook, the bit of green banana, and then take a slice down both sides and peel them out, and put them in the water, and cook them for about 15-20 minutes. 20 minutes is good, and they will not get soft. Uh, they will stay hard, and then come let them cool and you know, put any kind of thing on them that you like. You can put them in the soups and stews after that also, and they're really great, kind of like a potato, and I, I love them. And uh, they work great in just about everything. Uh, they also help with gastric ulcers because they're a good antacid. So uh, if a person has gastric ulcers and they have a lot of, person has a lot of acid in general in their, in their stomach, cooked green bananas are amazing for that. Uh, they can be mashed, they can like a mashed potato. They can use them, like I said, in soups and stews and curries and uh, green banana pie. And you can pickle them and uh, put them into salsa, make them into dumplings. Uh, and they have a great taste. Uh, I Kind of like a banana, but between that, a banana and a potato, I would say. And with climate change coming in our direction, uh, bananas are going to be a little more important as things heat up. There's no doubt about that. This is bananas I'm talking about. These are not plantains, you know, the, uh, and make sure we make that distinction. These happen to be, pick this up again, <laughs> these happen to be uh, we call it Monsanto bananas, which is kind of an apple banana that we grow here. It has an apple kind of flavor to them. And uh, there's an old myth out there in the they spray bananas a lot with chemicals to make them ripen. Well, you got to cut them down green, first of all. <laughs> Otherwise, they start splitting along the side if you let them ripen on the, on the banana plant themselves. And the banana tree is a plant. It's not a tree, it's like a grass, actually, and uh, once it fruits like this, it's done. It's not going to fruit again, so you have to cut the whole thing down, and uh, from the roots will come up another tr banana plant, and then we'll start over in about uh, 90 days or so, you have another stock of bananas. It could be, oh, one of these is called a hand. It can have anywhere from, uh -oh, usually from five to twenty hands. I've, I've gotten about usually eight or nine on uh, mine, but I've seen them even bigger, a lot of hands. So if you live in Florida, in Southern California, Texas area, in those warm states, or if you live in the Caribbean or South America, Central America, or uh, Africa, or you know, Asia, uh, even Australia, you know, Bananas are everywhere, and in the stores they have lots of green uh, bananas, and you can ask your grocer, and stay with the organic bananas, of course, and uh, that works really well, and keep away from all the toxins they might spray on them in different places, and uh, if you don't know if they're organic or they've been sprayed, ask your grocer, you know, and find out if they're organic. And they will do your body good. There is no doubt about it. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. And we need to build up that probiotic bacteria in our gut. And uh, this is one of the best ways to do that. And uh, be creative with them. Find different ways to use them. And uh, even that water that you boil the green bananas in, uh, if you peel them out first and then put them in that, it can be drank and that has some curative effects for diarrhea also and uh, it's a very staple food in many countries you know Mexico down through South America and the Caribbean and uh, in Asia so uh, I think it's really important that we start looking at different foods and start allowing ourselves to go in a different direction and see what's out there but cooked green bananas are a really great thing here's your great health I love you.